why those guys play rough. Okay, now, time travel and teleportation are two subjects that are also of infinite interest. With regard to teleportation, it is certainly possible that ETs have developed that. And not just the way we see it on Star Trek, where they're beaming down from an, a hovering spacecraft onto an existing planet, but might use long-distance teleportation instead of spacecraft to journey from one sector of the universe to another. I think it's certainly within the realm of feasibility. Then with regard to time travel, of course, that is the subject of many, many expositions. And there is a problem, however, the so-called time travel paradox. Skeptics say that if a person could travel back in time, he theoretically could murder his parents. But if he could murder his parents, he would not have been born. And if he wasn't born, how could he have traveled back to kill them? That's the paradox. Those who argue travel, time travel is possible say there are an infinite number of parallel routes that can be taken so this can be circumvented. And that could actually account for why ETs seem to avoid contacting us because they don't want to disrupt the past because any disruption of the present could affect the future. You may remember the famous Ray Bradbury story, the butterfly effect. In the future, we had achieved time travel and a group of hunters were going back to kill a T-Rex. The idea that this T-Rex's death would not affect evolution, he was dying anyway. So they're going to get a chance to kill him. However, one of the hunters on the platform slipped off. Then, when they returned to the present, it turned out the Nazis were now in control. The guide looked at the hunter's boot and found that he had crushed a butterfly when he fell off the platform. That simple change altered the future course of history. So that could be one reason why ETs are not visiting us and making their presence known. They don't want to affect us because they're from Earth's future. Of course, they could also be from uh, other planets or other worlds beyond our zone of existence. But certainly, I think, it's a possibility. And by the way, I just want to mention other reasons why ETs might avoid us. Not to, let's say, land on the White House lawn has to be taken to our leader. They might be fearful of that shoot first, ask questions later scenario, or perhaps fearful we might take them captive, put them in labs, or perhaps on exhibition on pay TV. But let's see an example of time travel in action involving humans from the 1967 sci-fi flick Journey to the Center of Time, starring Scott Brady and Gigi Perot. Roll tape.